Hey everyone, thanks for coming to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be discussing month three doing Dr. Joe Dispenza meditations daily. So I'm still doing the meditations around 6 to 6.30 in the morning. I got the blessing of the energy centers for, and I love it. I can really connect with the field at the end. I love that tingly lightness feeling. Oh, it just feels so good on my body. And um, I just rotate between back and forth from three to four, and that's what I do. Um, some things that I did that were different this month is I got the subscription service, Dr. Joe the subscription service. It's like 10 bucks a month. You can access all the old podcasts. I had a lot of questions for him, so this is why I decided to do it. And I listened to a lot of those podcasts. And I didn't need to answer, or I didn't need to ask any questions because they were all answered. And that's when I realized, like, I'm really starting to understand this material. Because um, now I'm having pretty good questions that I may ask that I haven't heard anyone else ask yet. But it's a good feeling to really feel like you're understanding it. And also, you know, these interviews help me understand even more. And they went in more depth than, you know, the YouTube videos that I was listening to daily. I started reviewing how my day went before passing out at night. Um, so essentially like doing the evening meditation, but not actually doing, I just lay there. Okay. How did I do? What like was great today? What could I improve? How could I improve it? And you know, what am I going to do tomorrow? Um, that seemed to help me line up and be quicker about my transformation. Um, things that are the same, I still do the YouTube videos when I'm getting around in the morning. Um, sometimes I would do afternoon meditations as well. Um, I'll explain more about that later. And, um, oh, I do want to add, I added mind movies. You can go to mindmovies.com and Natalie has free mind movies you can download. That's all I use. I use her free health one and loving myself. I do that after I do the meditation. I sit down, I look at myself in the mirror, in my eyes, and I repeat the affirmations. And it sets me up for a good day as it's allowing my energy that I cultivated in the meditation to kind of um, simmer down and go where it needs to go. I'll say for my wins, I feel happier after adding these mind movies. It really does give me that morning um, boost of excitement and happiness. Um, my energy is way higher. I wake up just revved up, ready to go. I don't need caffeine. I don't drink caffeine. And I feel great. My energy lasts um, throughout most of, the, most of the day, most days. Um, I feel more connected and loving to people. I just go out into this beautiful world and appreciate all the uniqueness and the diversity. And I just have nothing but love for everyone. Like, it's, it's different. Like, there's, there's no judgments. And there's just like, oh, that's, you know, that's my brother. That's my sister. Like, we're all in this together. Um... I would say some challenges that came up is I had a hell of a time this month with old programming coming up a lot. Like it was probably for about three weeks every day, just physical sensations out of nowhere of like past like nausea or the anxiety or there would be the mental thoughts from the past that would come up out of nowhere. And I just tell myself like, oh, yeah, not today, like body, you are not winning. I am in control and you are losing this battle and I'm becoming someone new. And every time I did that, it went away. Um, but it did get worse. And I mean, I got to the point where I was like having suicidal thoughts and I'm like, what? like, I have no reason to be depressed. I'm like, it doesn't make sense. And yeah, I just thought, oh, this is just old, old stuff, letting it go. And, um, you know, eventually it went away and I haven't had any more thoughts like that. 
Um, you know, I started having dreams again. You know, after the war and the PTSD, I had insomnia and night terrors for probably 15 years. And eventually I did get help and I could sleep pretty well, but I wasn't having dreams or nightmares anymore. And now I started dreaming again. And I'll wake up from some of these dreams with like, even though the dream wasn't scary, intense anxiety of like feeling and I just repeat to myself, I'm safe, everything's okay, this is just old energy releasing, I'm safe, and it would dissipate and I'd be okay and I'd pass back out. That happened a few times and it hasn't happened um, again. I uh, So I struggle with bad PMS symptoms on top of the stuff that I have healed. And I'd been on birth control for most of my life. So now that I'm not, the, the doctor made me get off of it because of my liver. Everything's all good with that now, though. But, um, man, the little phase really is a hard time for me. And, of course, it's the longest one. And I'm not crying anymore. I usually have a day or two where I just cry about anything. Or, or like, I was just hypersensitive. And it wasn't fun. It wasn't a fun place to be in. But I noticed um, I wasn't crying anymore, but I'm just like highly irritated, still very sensitive. Um, you know, things people would say that were supposed to be funny or maybe they were just picking on me was not funny. And I'd throw fire on the, you know, fire and it would just accelerate. And yeah, it wasn't fun. And this went on for about a week with my husband and I couldn't control it. And I didn't know why I felt so bitchy and out of control and irritable. So I started doing a second meditation in the afternoons. I did the morning meditation in the afternoon. And after three or four days of doing this, I was able to pull myself back out of this and keep into like, okay, this is who I want to be. This is what I want to be like. And um, everything was fine. So that's something, you know, that I want to hopefully improve my symptoms so they're not as intense um, going forward. And I, I'm sure, you know, the longer I do these meditations, the better it will get. Um, Say so some of the experiences I had. Um, one morning I woke up, I was nauseous. I had a cold. I was sick. I was like, oh man, not again. And I did the blessings and it was really weird. Like I felt like as the meditation was happening, I just felt like something shifted, like something was different and I didn't know what. And I knew when I, I was like kind of excited to be done with the meditation because I knew when I was done, like something's going to be different, but I didn't know what. And when I was done, I spit up this big chunk of green stuff and my cold was gone and my nausea was gone and I felt great and I had a wonderful day and the rest of the week I never got sick so I thought that was pretty interesting um for about a week every time I would meditate my toes at the end of the meditation would like kind of like start opening up and it would feel really good like those little toes just spreading out um yeah, I don't know. It just felt really good. And the more I became aware of it as the days went on, like the less it started to happen because I was like kind of expecting that to happen. Um, it does happen in relax. When I'm super relaxed, I'll kind of feel them open up but not like before. It's not as intense. Um, and another thing that came up for me is like, so after doing these meditations for a few months, I think it was a month two. I decided I didn't want to do my YouTube channel anymore. I also make meditations and I didn't feel worthy. I was just like, his meditations are so much better than mine. He's healing people. Like, what am I doing? I'm connecting people to aliens. And I just like, I just felt like I wasn't worthy to be doing this. So I stopped and, um, you know, my husband was kind of surprised, but I just 
went on and I was okay with my decision. Well, during one of my meditations in the third month, I just had like this, I never got like messages before ideas and this is the only one I got so far and it was get back into your YouTube channel and make your meditations and just stick with it and see where it heads. Like be you, be authentic, be yourself because not everybody wants a Dr. Joe meditation. You know, we're all different and we all like different things and we all like to switch things up and try new things. So, you know, it, I just felt like I was being told to put this information out there because the more people that put this information out there and the more it gets spread around, the more people that are doing the work, the better this place is going to be for the future. And when I come back to a new body, I want this world to be better. I want this world to have more love in it. And so this is how I'm putting in my work, how I'm putting in my gifts that I want to give to hopefully elevate somebody else and make their lives better. Um, some tips, just keep reminding yourself why you're doing it. You know, stick with it. You don't got to be perfect. Understand that, you know, for a while I felt like, oh my gosh, why am I having a bad day or a bad thought or why don't I feel amazing today? Like I'm doing the work. Every day should be great and I'm super natural and it wasn't until one of the interviews with Dr. Joe Dispenza where he was talking about like sometimes he can get in an elevated state quickly and sometimes it takes him an hour. And I'm thinking, well, okay, well, he's been doing this way longer than I have and some days are harder for He's not perfect either. So why am I expecting myself to be perfect? Like I have to live this, be this perfect, loving person 24-7. Um, once I realized that it, it released some weight from me, like, okay, it's like, I can have a bad reaction and not beat myself up over it. I just try to move on from it quickly and let it be. And so just, you know, remind yourself that you're still human. You know, you've been living one, one way for, you know, how many ever years versus how long you've been meditating. So you know, it's, it's going to be a tug of war and just bring yourself back to an elevated state as, as quickly as you can, you know, as quickly as you realize like, Ooh, I shouldn't have yelled at him or, Oh, that was ignorant. Why did I say that? You know, it's okay. Just, just apologize and move on, you know? And I definitely, you know, I'd recommend doing his subscription because by this point, if you're reading books, if you're immersing yourself in the material, you're probably going to have a lot of questions. You know, it's a great opportunity to get your questions answered as well as you have access to all the old subscriptions. And man, those people asked some really great questions and it was very clarifying for me. So that's all for my video. And as I said, um, I look forward to filming the next videos. I'm currently, I just started month four. I do want to say I did have a coherence healing at the end of this month. And I didn't really feel too much as it was going on. But right after I did blessing of the energy centers too. And I could feel each center more intensely and quickly than ever before. And for the first time, I really felt my heart center. I don't, I don't think I've ever felt my heart center as much as I did that day while I was doing that meditation. And now every time I do that meditation, the blessings, I can recall that, that elevated emotion. And um, so I think it really did help me open up my heart. Um, so I'm, I'm very thankful and grateful that these people are doing this and I recommend that as well. If you need help, I mean, don't feel like you're unworthy. Um, you know, everybody needs healing. I mean, you may look, you know, like you're healthy on the outside, but you'd be a wreck on the inside, or maybe you feel great on the inside. You feel great on the outside, but 
you still might have some trauma that happened 10 years ago that you're holding on inside that you don't even know. Like you're so unaware of because you pushed it back into your subconscious mind. And you know, it's holding you back in ways you don't know because you're not aware of it, you know? So take advantage of, you know, that this free resource. These people are here. They want to help. They want to spread the love. Like I said before, the more love we have, the more love we can give, the more love others will have, and the more love they can give. And man, this vibration of this planet will rise and it will just be a happier place for us all. And I think, you know, that's really the end goal is that we can all be on this planet and coexist and still be unique and be ourselves but from a place um, of love you know so thank you for watching and i hope i've inspired you to keep going and live your best life all right thank you